Verdugo Adventures. Today I'm just going to do a quick how-to video on how we fish for stripers. Um, I've gotten quite a few emails asking us um, how we make our leaders, how we tie our knots, what bait to use, etc. for stripers. Um, during the video you might hear some weird sounds. Uh, I have a miniature macaw parrot, parrot who is uh, right behind me during this whole video and my one-year-old daughter is next to me so that's that. <laughs> you say hi Char? <laughs> okay, so again, this is just a quick video on how we fish for stripers. There are dozens of ways you can fish for stripers, tons of different baits, lures, etc. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how we make our leader, how we connect it to our main line, um, how we put on our bait, uh, things like that. So let's get started. Um, as far as our leader line goes, I really like the uh, Triling by Berkeley. Uh, it's really good, really uh, solid line. Uh, this one here is 17 pound test, which I usually use for my striper leaders. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I like to make my striper leaders anywhere from a foot long to two and a half feet long, just depending on where I'm fishing. Okay, so you have your striper leader line. I'm gonna take a large barrel swivel. This is a heavy duty barrel swivel by the way. You can buy these at any bait shop. Uh, Walmart carries them for really cheap. I'm going to go ahead and tie it on with a polymer knot. And if you don't know how to do a tie a polymer knot, we do have a how to video on that as well on our YouTube video, on our YouTube channel. And I, I like to do a two extra simple regular knots over it just to be extra safe. And by the way guys, this knot here, the polymer knot, has never failed me. I've had line broke, uh, etc., but never my knot. And when you cut it off, I usually leave just a tiny bit extra line. That's solid. Alright. Then we're going to take our hook. Uh, we like to use uh, anywhere from size 4 aught to size 6 aught. Uh, this one here is a size 5 aught. I'm going to go ahead and tie that on with, again, another polymer knot. Okay. You can find the video how to tie a polymer knot in our how to section on our channel. I'm going to go ahead and cut off that excess. Okay, and there you go. This is about a foot and a half long solid striper leader. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how I put it on my main line. I'm going to use, be using the uh, Trilene by Berkeley. 
uh, the big game line. This is 15 pound test, which is what I'll usually use for my main line when fishing for stripers. And then for my leader, I'll usually use a 17 pound test. Okay. Okay. So I have, let's just pretend this is connected to my fishing pole, okay? This is my main line. I'm gonna take my Arts Custom Slider. These are awesome sliders, all made in the USA. They're handmade by Art himself. Um, Verdugo Adventures, we recommend these sliders 100%. Once you use these sliders, you will never go back to the old uh, cheapo plastic ones. These are awesome. All right, gonna go ahead and put on your slider like so, just run it right through your main line. And you're gonna take your bead. These beads are very important. You have to use the bead. This bead is gonna protect your knot. All right, now I'm gonna take my main line and tie it with a polymer knot onto my barrel swivel. Now you can use whatever type of knot, type of knot you like to use. Polymer knot is just my favorite. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tie that on. Go ahead and uh, cut off, cut off the excess. All right. So now you have it. It looks like this. You have your Arts Custom slider, your bead, your barrel swivel connected to your striper leader. All right. There's your hook. And then of course you're going to put on the weight of your choice. This connects it. You just open it up connects it right on there, close it back up, super solid. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how we bait up our shad on our hook. This goes for shad, um, anchovies, sardines, uh, most fish baits. Right here I'm gonna be using a shad. I'm gonna start at the very back. I'm gonna go underneath the fish's backbone with the hook all the way through, pull it all the way through and give yourself quite a bit of slack. And we're gonna do it again. With these little fish, I'd say you can go in about three or four times. Okay, we actually learned how to bait up like this from our uh, fishing buddy, Mike. All right, I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna turn my hook around I'm gonna go right, I guess it would be behind the fish's neck. Get in there real good. Now you're gonna come out between the eyes. Make sure you do not come out in the eye. It will not work correctly. Come out right between the eyes, just like that. Then you're gonna cinch up all this loose line, get it nice and tight. And there you go. That way the striper or whatever you're going for comes. They usually eat the, the fish head first gets on there and he's on there all right now I'd recommend putting magic string over this unless you're fishing in extremely calm water so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some magic string on it you can buy this uh, magic string magic thread at a Walmart or pretty much any bait shop that you go to all right so I'm just gonna put some magic string on there I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of magic string if you're fishing in uh, rougher water. Like for example, a uh, loss of a Karos, I would definitely use the magic string. All right, and that's it. Um, in our experience, stripers absolutely love shad. Um, another other great baits to use: um, pile worms, uh, blood worms. Um, anchovies. I mean, there's a number of baits. Our favorite for stripers is shad. And this is how we fish for stripers. Alright guys, hope the video was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.
Thank you.